the story, somebody asked me how I was lucky, because I mentioned lucky a few times from Tompkins. Shout out to him if he's still alive. Lucky was one of the bloods that was with me in the house when we was in Ma 1. They put all the super thugs, supposedly gangsters from the jail. They were trying to, a new thing, and they was putting everybody in Ma 1 where I was there with crime, KO. These all bloods. This is when the bloods and the kings were all getting along, and it was all good, and everybody riding the five after the drama and all that, right? So... Me and Lucky were the dudes, me, Lucky, oh, Goldie was down there with us, Goldie from Brooklyn with the front, shout out to him, uh, and they could vouch, I don't need nobody to vouch for me anyway, bro, facts, <laughs> I don't do those, I don't live my life trying to prove to people I'm not lying or whatever, that's for you to decide and for you to do, I'm just doing what I do, you feel me? <laughs> And uh, um, giving people the history that they want to hear. Of course, somebody mentioned that a long time ago I said these uh, stories were corny or bringing up the past. And, all, and now you're doing it. Bro, listen, people ask me, son, if I feel like it, I'm going to talk about it in my show. I felt that some if that goes when you're not listening to the whole video. The only reason why I made that last video was because some people was bringing it back up. But you didn't watch the whole video because you, know, you would know that I'm saying, yo, stop that. In other words. But anyway, Lucky is one of the bloods. They, me and him were the ones. Me and a few of us that was allowed to do that. We used to take the phones and put them in our pocket and in our locker. I used to put the phone in my locker and go to sleep. Facts. Ask Lucky. Ask the blood Lucky. Facts. From Tompkins. He used to do the same thing because we the ones that was controlling the phones at that time. I never been into a house where I didn't have slots. I mean, only one time when I went through for seven days and I told you that in the project C95, I was quiet. I only had seven days, facts. So with that being said, I was never gonna live in a house as me being a twin at those times and not have phone time. It was unheard of. If you did, you was a thud because the people used to come to the door like, yo, you ain't got the phone. You ain't got two hours for the bros. You better go to the wreck. And anybody that knows what I'm talking about, know he's saying facts. All right. And on the island and in the New York, I don't know where these dudes been doing their bit at, but normally it's not a big dude that runs the house on the island. It's always a small dude or a skinny Spanish dude or a skinny black dude or the crackhead they used to disrespect on your block. Now you got to answer to him. And it's a fact what people said. When you go upstate, it's a different ballgame. All this abuse was happening on the island. When dudes went up north, it was all a, a rap. So those years... It was me, Lucky, Goldie, K.O. It was a bunch of us. Dominican Cabeza. Uh, I'm not sure if at that time Patias or Tribus was around like that, but Cabeza was in a Dominican clique already. They was already starting to come up like hard, and he wasn't no slouch. They had time on that phone, too, in my house, the Dominicans that were there. We used to eat lovely with Cabeza. Uh, um, I think he's from 180-something, the Bronx. Big brother. Leave in the comments if you know him. They call him Cabeza. You already, he's a good dude, though, bro. Real solid dude. So uh, I never have to, yo, you can ask this dude or verify. I'm just shouting out Lucky because somebody asked me how I was Lucky when he was with me. He was holding it down too. I slept towards all the way in the back. Uh, 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 and Lucky slept on the war side. Good dude though. Lucky was one of the, a good blood dude. Facts. I, like, not that I have to say this, but I don't got nothing against them. Like, what happened, happened. I made that video because people was bringing the issue back up. And if I'm going to say something, I'm going to say with a hundred of how I feel about it. And that's not something new. I've been made them videos and said all that in lives. The same thing I said there. I even said it if you listen to the video. But again, I don't want to make it seem like I'm explaining myself or pardoning myself for anything because I'm not. So with that being said, we're going to talk about blood hour, right? A lot of people don't know about blood hour. They was asking me, yo, uh, did you ever seen like super pressure from, of course, and how the bloods got so big. I'm going to tell you those two things. The reason why the bloods got so big on the island, number one is they were putting in work. They put in a lot of work. I'm not going to say that they didn't, right? Because I don't want to make it sound like they didn't. I'm all size people put in work. It's facts. If you want to call hurting another human being that's going through the same thing that you're going through work, then yeah. Nowadays, I call it stupidity. We were stupid, ignorant, 
boy. But anyway, what happens is this. Bloods will come in. At one time, we was being like, yo, you can't live here. You got to go to like a blood house or something. It became a point that a lot of Spanish dudes were like, no, 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 no. Yo, this one is cool, bro. He's from my neighborhood. Leave in the comments if I'm lying. I'm never lie, bro. There's no need, homie. For what? <laughs> For views? That's not me. But with that being said, right? We on Rikers Island. This dude starts saying, yo, this one is cool. Let him in. War, boom, boom. We let him rock. War, this one gets the bag. You know how that goes. Let him in. He gets weed. This one gets... And then, man, then they started getting deep. And it's like any other gang or any other nation or organization. You start letting them come in. When they get deep, it's like they form Voltron. Boom! Now you can't be here. And it's like, oh, you can finish him. <laughs> right? So that's what happened there, you know? And uh, to make a long story longer, not short, when it came to Blood Hour, now Blood Hour, I think if I'm not mistaken, leave in the comments if you ever heard of Blood Hour. And uh, we're not trying to blow nobody up because I also speak on things that we did. It's in the videos. Watch watch the other channels. Listen to the audio podcast. Look it up on the Lockout Podcast. Google it. I talk about things I can't talk about on the tube over there. It's lit because it's explicit content. Facts. So uh, don't forget to download and sub over there too. <laughs> so anyway, um, for those of you that don't know, I just haven't been around Sunset Park. This is for my people that want to hear a little bit about me too, right? Because we never stay on topic here. Who wants to hear about the same topic for a whole hour or two hours or half an hour? Not me. It's like, come on, bro. You're going to keep talking about the same thing, my dude? Hmm? Come on. Right? So I try to move it around, but always bring it back. Like, ah, boop. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so anyway, Blood Hour. I think it's in the 2000s. We in like 16 upper. Yeah, we in 16 upper. And whatever house is across from 16... 16 lower, 16 upper. Yeah, whatever house is across from 16, right? And C95, the light side. Yeah, the light side. Uh, that's where my man was at, Joe, for my neighborhood. He born and raised around me, right? My blog and everything. So Joe comes and he's like, boom, yo, what up? You got a thing? A raise or a bang or whatever. Now, statue limitation is up on this, so sorry. You can't cast it over me. So... I'm like, yeah, why? What happened? He's like, yo, bro, the Bloods is trying to make dudes lock in in my house. I was like, hmm? I got Scooby-Doo. Like, hmm? 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 Now, if I'm not mistaken, Trouble was in my house at that time. And I'm not talking about little Trouble. I'm talking about a little bigger Trouble, light skin with a bald head and a cut on his face with fronts. Super demon twin. Um, from 50, uh, 51st and 5th, 52nd and 5th around there. He's the brother of a lot of dudes that I know. So shout out to Trouble. Trouble was one that was trouble, bro. So when me and Trouble got around each other, it was crazy. I've been around Little Trouble too. They sent a kite to separate us because it was crazy in, in another building. Facts. That story is for another video. Just remind me because I'll be forgetting things. So now it's blood hour. They were trying to form this thing where before lock-in, if I'm not mistaken, at that time, lock-in was 11.15, right? Am I correct? My brain is shot. So anyway, um, they was trying to make you lock-in an hour ahead of time. Like, yo, it's blood hour. But my dude Joe was like, bro, I'm not locking in. Like, that's crazy. You're not doing that to me. So I was like, by all means, here comes a dude. From my neighborhood, I grew up with, he's asking me for something. He feels like he's might, they might come crazy at him. He's not saying, yo, Joe, whatever you do, Joe, we talking through the, you know what I'm saying? Through the um, um, plessy guys. I think things like, yo, bro, whatever you do, don't lock in. He's like, nah, bro, you crazy? So I get the little things to him. I make sure that the people's giving that. I'm like, yo, shh, give him that boom, boom, right? It may be, like, hard for you to swallow, like, damn, a smaller dude, but well, you could tell you never been to Rikers Island, and don't, because you're going to have a hard time if you think you're this big gorilla, and you're going to go there and run things, and it's going to be a dude smaller than me, 
right? And just to give you news, I'm not the smallest of dude, my guy. When you see me, one of my arms probably cover your whole head. Facts. <laughs> but besides that, right, it's not about your height or nothing. It's about this, bro. It's about your heart. And like I said, I I admit, there's times I have to play pussy. <laughs> All right? Yo, you got it. <laughs> but don't ever let me see you again. <laughs> That's what a real gangster does. He knows how to move. And I started getting that way with Meg. Rest in peace. You can look him up. M-E-G-526. Or look up Hold Your Own with the song, right? Meg, so Brooklyn, a few songs they got, right? My neighborhood. Rest in peace to him, right? He passed away with this crazy thing that we got going on in this world today. I don't even want to say the word. But rest in peace to him. I loved him. He told me, yo, bro. You don't got to feel wrong about that. What you did was gangster move so you could live another day, bro. He, and he was trying to teach me, like, yo, you got to learn how to keep it moving and take, because a lot of things happen in the hood that I didn't want to swallow. And he's like, yo, you got to hold that down for now, boy, because you're going to get locked up. And he was right. A lot of people that you think they could hold it down are going to be the ones to tell. So with that being said, anyway, I learned a lot from Meg. So, and I just... That came to mind, and I'm a, I don't write none of this down. I speak from the heart what I feel right here and then. This is not a written down show. I don't practice or nothing. I sit here, and then something that comes to my mind that I want to talk about, I talk about it, and all the words are sincere. I don't edit, take out none of the words. I may edit the, the content after that, put the pics in front of you, the little uh, ad libs that some people like and some people don't, right? You can't always... Uh, uh, cater to everybody, like, you know, it's like crazy, but when you start making content, not videos, right, you'll understand what I'm talking about, to then, right, chill, but dudes be like, yo, I got a million stories, all in the comments, yo, bro, I could tell stories like that all day, I right, so then why you saying that on my channel, bro, you think I'm gonna let that comment show, my dude, you trying to get free promotion, like, let's be realistic, bro, I've been doing this, I know how to run a show, bro, not trying to show off, but if you got a million stories to tell, good, I always encourage people to start their own channel, then put them on channel, do it, tell your stories, bro, <laughs> but don't hate on us that's doing this, don't be mad at us, don't stop the people from getting the good info and the good stories, my dude, don't do that, that's ugly, bro, it says a lot about you as a man, facts. So with that being said, Blood Hour, they're trying to have Joe rock, Joe lock in, right? Joe's like, nah, bro, <laughs> that's not happening. So I give him the bang or the razor, whatever the bros, the peoples get it to him. Boom, boom. Uh, it goes off. Boom. If I'm not mistaken, it popped in his house that day. Boom, the alarm went on. So I'm locked in. I'm like nervous. Like, oh, he snapped you. Joe, Joe, now we locked in. Because they locked, everybody locked in, boom, man. But I seen it was almost locking time. But I said, but they've been out. And a lot of people locked in. So now if it's only Joe and them in there, it probably popped with Joe. So I couldn't really sleep that whole day to be real, bro. That whole night, I was like, man, it's on, man. The AM, I want to get up out of here, man. I want to see what happened. Boom, so when I look for Joe, he's good. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, you locked in? He was like, hell no, bro. They were like, nah, that don't pertain to you, bro. And I'm just proving a point to show you that when you stand your ground as a man and you say, I'm not doing, I'm not with it. Like in the adolescence, yo, you with it or you ain't with it? I ain't with it. And you stand your ground as a man. I'm not telling you to go fight the world. I'm never going to promote violence. But as a man, when something is being pushed on you or you feel like you're being bullied or pressured or oppressed, and you stand up for what you feel is right. You always gonna uh, come on top. A lot of times, a lot of these so-called gangsters, right, or or whatever you wanna call them, or when you end up in jail, prisons, and institution, whoever falls for falls for. A lot of times, dudes be more scared than you, and they just trying to lay order. You know what I'm saying? Cause a bunch of them. But what I'm saying is, I never experienced that. Like to go into a house and with dudes make everybody lock in. Cause to be real, I would not allow that to people to do that to any other inmates around me. It wouldn't feel right me telling dudes, yo, lock in. There was a time when I was locked up that some of the Spanish dudes were looking at me like if I was blood, like you running with them dudes, like you running with them bloods. So don't think like I'm just throwing that bloods all day. I'm just telling the facts to my peoples. Cause at the end of the day, all my stories, a lot of my stories were blood stories because real dudes that come from where I come from don't do this, telling their business online, as you can see. That's why I never talk about no affairs, right? 
But I told the story of me and Bloods because I didn't have to worry. That's not that has nothing to do with my with whatever I was involved in. That was me and them, and I was there. That is my story. You feel me? So and it was at a time where it was where we was all getting along. You know now that um that people felt at those times like I was running with them is because I'm the one that knew English there. There was times we were in houses, there was a lot of nietas that didn't know English. So like when we was in Ma One, the blood KO, I said this before, would call me and be like, yo, tell him that I said he got to put on his sneakers or he got five minutes. And the dude is looking at me like, yo, bro, but you you gonna let them do this to me? Like, I'm not letting them do that to you. You violated him. The man wants to fight you. You want me to fight for you too? Like, I was making sure that my people were not abused. So I was making whoever, even though I was good, I was good. I wanted everybody to be good. So I was letting other people become my friend. Like, Warpath get busy. He's one of those twins that's going to get busy. So I'm going to make him my friend. There's a lot of people that's online and that's been locked up with me that know the facts. Only one time I had one dude comment and be like, oh, my man beat you up up north. And I said that story. And it was a fight that I had with some dude or whatever. And that's the way he felt like his man won the fight. It's cool. I lost plenty of fights. It didn't mean that we didn't fight. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> like, let's be realistic. You're not just going to do something to me and walk away. And I'm not trying to sound tough. It's even right now. You know what I'm saying? The people get the thing of you doing YouTube confused with that. Don't mean you signed up and, okay, from now on, I will be buns. Bro, wrong dude. Facts. I go outside every day. I live in Brooklyn. Facts. And I be on Southside, Jamaica, Queens, both places. But I'm more in Brooklyn now, facts. But with that being said, and I be in the Bronx, hard body, and I always post it, facts where I'm at. And I go see people. Even if you hit me, yo, meet me here. I go meet. You better <laughs> watch the videos, bro. This is not my only channel. Remember that. But with that being said, uh, we never showing off. We never trying to act tough. We just hate. When there's always a hater trying to disturb Peace, where there's peace. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's what bothers me, right? And it's always your own people, a Latino, of course. Always, always, bro, always. But anyway, there was a point that certain dudes were talking like that because you know how they feel of a, about us New York Ricans. They feel like, you know what, you running with them people. And not all of them are like that, but there was some that were like that. And it was not about running with them people. It's they was cool. Just because they was in another clique, that didn't bother me. What bothered me is when you was violating us and when you disrespecting us. If you behaving accordingly, we all good, we all good, and we call cool live. That's what I always wanted. That's what I want here, and that's what I'm trying to do. Obviously, you don't see it because you're walking around with blinders on. <laughs> and I'm the one with these glasses, but I can see through them. Whatever you're wearing, you can't see through facts. <laughs> but shout out to everybody, man. And um. At one point, they had blood hour. Let me know if you was there when they started blood hour and were you locking in. You're not going to count to that, though. But let me know if you ever seen that. Blood hours, this some facts that used to happen. A lot of dudes were mad. Even some bloods, like the bloods that were in my house, were like, what? That's crazy, my dude, because they felt like that was the police job. But I don't think they was trying to do the police job. I, Me personally, I think that they was trying to take an hour for themselves and like let it be known like we run this. This is our hour to be out here alone. And talk our business and whatever we got to do or whatever without everybody else being around us. But there was a lot of dudes that was not having it and were not locking in. And that's fact. So when Duke asked me, do you remember about Blood Hour? Yeah, that's one of the incidents. Well, not an incident that happened, not with me. But they did try to lay the pressure game down on my man Joe. And he definitely wasn't having it. So big ups to Joe for not having it. I'm always with someone not having it, don't matter what they was. Thank <laughs> you.